power distribution problems. So I have added my fifth and final RTX 3080 to my Ethereum mining rig setup. Unfortunately, five power hungry GPUs combined with this computer, my other computer, some peripherals, some monitors, and everything else that's on this desk managed to be the cinder block that broke the camel's back. Enter power distribution with Nicholas Johnson at the Space Warehouse. <laughs> A plug like this one, one you might find anywhere in your house, is good for 15 amps of power at 120 volts. If you're lucky and you find a plug like this in your house with a little extra notch coming out the side, well then look at you, you've got a 20 amp circuit on your hands. Here's how you can use those numbers. Your computer stuff and actually everything you ever plug into your wall will be measured in two of three values, amps, volts, and watts. In America, from the wall, when the plug looks like this, you're always gonna have 120 volts. Plus or minus a little fluctuation here and there, but for easy math, we're gonna call it 120 volts. The power supply for your computer will have the watts that it's capable of pumping out, usually printed pretty big right in the side of the unit. And in fact, everything you ever plug in has to have its power information printed on it somewhere. For GPUs and crypto mining, the software that you're using to mine is probably gonna list off how many watts each one of your cards is using as well. Now, back to the 15 amp or 20 amp outlet that you're plugging stuff into in the wall, this number is your power limit. And you don't want to sit right at that limit either. If you plug 15 amps worth of stuff into a 15 amp circuit, you're eventually going to pop a breaker. What a bummer. The way to use this 15 amp or 20 amp number is by dividing the number of watts you're going to be using, like at your computer, by 120, the volts. The result of that is going to give you how many amps you're asking from the wall. And since most of your computer components are going to give you their power draw in watts, we can multiply 15 amps by 120 volts at the wall, and that gives us 1800 watts as a maximum power draw from any one plug. Or in the case of a 20 amp plug, that's gonna be 2400 watts. If you've got two RTX 3080s that are running at 250 watts each, that's 500 watts, divide that by 120 volts, and it gives you 4.16 amps. Great, you still got about eight amps to go before you pop the breaker. A quick side note, a thousand watt power supply for your computer doesn't always draw a thousand watts, that's just the amount that it's capable of. It's actually only gonna draw as much power as your computer components are asking for. So for my system, I have five RTX 3080s, and each one of them's pulling about 240 watts. So that's 1200 watts just for the GPUs alone. We've also got the CPU package, a monitor, a couple of extra hard drives, my Mac computer, its monitor, and then a printer when it's plugged in sometimes. And if I'm recording one of these, I got these big lights that take about 40 watts each. And I have everything plugged into UPS systems, battery backups, just in case there's a power fluctuation. And those draw power too to charge their batteries. So some dirty math has my desk pulling about 1623 watts. That's dangerously close to the 1800 watt maximum, close enough to where a little power fluctuation in the line or messing around with overclocks on the GPUs could be enough to pop the circuit breaker, and that is the last thing we want on our mining computer while it's running. So my solution is just to split the power into two circuits. Another way you could do this is to have an electrician come over and just install a dedicated 20 amp line, which could probably power whatever you got. I have a 20 amp circuit in this room, but it shares power with the washing machine, so that's no good either. To add to this, I live in Florida and the 2021 hurricane season has just begun. I'm in Orlando, right in the middle of the state, so we're not in any danger of like a direct hurricane hit or anything, but what we do suffer from commonly during hurricane season is little power outages. Usually just in the form of a blip, the power will go off and come back on like really fast, but that's enough to kill a router or shut off the desktop computer normally. Therefore, I have split my mining operation into two separate rigs that run on two separate plugs that are on two separate breakers and everything run in through their own battery backup system, including the internet router that's out in a different room. If we have a super short power outage, everything just keeps cruising along. Here's how I have all my power distributed throughout my garage office and mining operation. First, my computer's main power supply wasn't big enough once I added the third 3080 to that rig. But I had another smaller power supply from an earlier computer and read that you can use two PSUs on the same rig as long as you put one of these testers on the motherboard power plug of the second one, tricking it into turning on. And if you're gonna do that, just make sure that the extra PSU, the one that's just powering a graphics card, is turned on before you turn on the main computer power. So I have a thousand watt power supply that goes to the motherboard, all the computer components, and two of the 3080s, and then a little 500 watt power supply that's just for the third 3080 on this desk. The main power supply for this computer goes into this battery backup, which can run for about 20 minutes in a power outage, and the battery tells the computer to stop mining while on battery power, and then to resume mining once the power comes back on. This can cover very short power outages, but if there's like a days long thing, then everything's just gonna eventually shut off. Sadly, this battery backup has a maximum draw of a thousand watts, so it can't handle all three graphics cards at once. The third graphics card on this rig is on its own power supply, and it'll just shut off in the event of a power outage, and probably won't come back on all by itself.
itself. So I'll lose the third GPU on this rig until I can do a full restart. Then over here on my other desk across the room, I have another motherboard. One I had set up and built as sort of like a test bench so I could mess around with all this mining equipment without having to stop my main computer from running. And over on this guy, I now have two more 3080s and the computer motherboard running off of a 750 watt power supply that is plugged into this battery backup right down here. And all of this is powered off of a different outlet off of a different breaker from my other setup. I was surprised to figure out that just five graphics cards was enough to make all this power redistribution necessary. And I have no idea how all these guys you see on YouTube that have like an entire basement or an entire garage full of racks of cards, how they can power them without flipping breakers, without having to have like an extension cord coming from each different room in their house to power every rig. Um, or maybe I guess just paying a ton of money to have an electrician come and just put like a 50 amp circuit down in one place. But yes, so here is the current state of Ethereum mining at the Space Warehouse. Five RTX 3080s running on two motherboards that are fed into two different battery backups on two circuits of the wall for infinite uptime. I'm Nicholas Johnson, goodbye.